Hiya bush people, once again I'm out here just doing a small video, today with a new toy that I got, uh, it's the Silky Big Boy 2000, so this will be my first test of this saw, I have another Silky, that's the Silky Super XL 21, so we shall see the difference, as you already can see, a pretty good damn size difference this one is 21 centimeters at blade and this one is 36 centimeters and this one has more aggressive teeth so it's extra large teeth and this one I think it's only large te teeth so we shall see the difference so if you want to see how this works just stay tuned and I will show you a bit more of this saw. So here I have a pretty big thick log that I'm going to test this saw with. It's pretty, I don't know, maybe five inches, six inches across. And yeah, as you can see, this saw is pretty large. So I think it would be, wouldn't be any problem for this saw to take this log and this one <laughs> I would not <laughs> try to do this with this saw only in a emergency sit situation because <laughs> you're going to work your ass off with this one. So we will see. Oh, this log is right on my tripod so I'm just going to move my tripod a bit so it wouldn't flip my camera just a moment so here we go trying out this I don't know if you know but the silky saws are cutting on the pull stroke so when you pull it cuts when you push it does nothing it just uh, cleaning up the, the area so when you're using a silky saw do not apply any pressure on the push stroke because the blades are pretty thin and when you push this blade it could snap so think think what you're doing with your force when you're using a silky saw I have my own experience with the first silk I had and I push too hard and I broke a small bit of the tip so here we have <laughs> size difference there we go let's get sawing a bit bites in pretty good Applying much pressure, trying to do this, trying to do it, let the saw do the work for a width. Okay. <laughs> I think it's pretty effortless <laughs> sawing in this one. Let me see. What You can see the weight of the tree pulling down there and there so it's creating a gap here that's good for the saw because then it would not bite it if you get biting it's going to get harder and you can snap the blade so always think think twice when you're sawing where the weight of the tree goes how it's going to bend because if the tree goes down it's going to bite down on the saw and I'm stuck No problem for this piece. Yeah, it's maybe four and a half, five inches across. So 
so it would work with this smaller one but it will take me more force more time more energy from my body let's do another bit here if you can see that I'm just going to angle the camera for you pressure on the pull stroke the log is moving around bit you have a clean cut very nice for such big teeth let's do another one again applying slight smaller pressure on the pull stroke and gently down Pl pressure no pressure pressure no pressure and pressure you get the point yeah pretty good let me see if you can I can focus here for you Very nice, clean cuts. It's a bit moist, this log. So yeah, there you go. So, after testing this saw a bit, I have come to a conclusion that the big boy it's one of my best buy. Uh, I usually use the smaller silky with me and it has helped me many times. It has done the work much better than, for example, having an axe with me that's more fatigue, better, uh, greater risk to, for accidents and etc. So I always carry with me one saw and one knife uh, for a day hike or something like that when I'm out with my family like today we're just out out there on the campsite doing small fire with the dogs and eating out but I brought the big boy with me because I wanted to show you my new toy and I can just say great stuff uh, the silky saws are excellent uh, if you need to process a lot of wood bigger size woods like earlier today when I showed you this size is perfect uh, you will not get get as fatigued as the smaller saw or for example the Baco Laplander as many bushcrafter has it's a great saw the Baco Laplander but I think it's better for smaller tasks I'm when I'm out I usually go out for a little bit bigger logs for the fires and processing down to smaller bits and the saw is one of my main tools when I'm out just to do it safe and not to get <laughs> such fatigue in the arms and 
and you have two position on this song like that you have secondary like that and made in Japan razor sharp just going to show you a close-up here let this focus there we go as you can see when you shut it down you can see the teeth that because the curve you can get a sheath for it if you want to and uh, my focus is struggling there we go there you have the big teeth extra large and a yellow orange yellow handle so you can easily see your your gear when it's laying in the ground so if you're looking for a saw a bit bigger it's a bit heavier but it's worth every every pound or every gram in my bike backpack because of the work I can do with this one so yeah I cannot say much more good stuff about this gear uh, it's a really good saw but you need to think twice when you're using it so you don't apply pressure when you're pushing because then you might snap the blade or bend it and you need to replace it and of course you can replace this blade it's no problem replacing the blades you can choose with which teeth you want if you want so for some smaller task or other stuff of wood and you need smaller teeth then just go for it but I like this big one because you get through the logs much faster with less effort so just go and buy one <laughs> I hope you won't be disappointed I can almost guarantee that uh, so yeah my silky big boy 2000 excellent gear yeah I forgot to tell you that this was not a review of this all just a first test impression of a new toy that I got just wanted to share with you the first time I'm using it so you saw me do it that was actually the very first time using this saw but I have used silky saws before so I know how, it, how they work and yeah no review just first impression wanted to show you share my new big boy so we shall see how it holds up in a year, year or two if I have follow the rules and not apply the pressure when pushing or if I have snapped the blade or bent the blade I will keep you updated so yeah, yeah. just wanted to say if you want to see some more gears and outdoor life with me and my family my dogs my other pets or something like that so hit the subscribe button and you will see more of me give me the thumbs up comment ask questions whatever you want and I will try to answer every question and reply to you all so have a great day and I'll see you in the next one cheers yeah over there you can see my family <laughs> my wife trying to maintain the fire and <laughs> I told them to keep the fire alive while I was testing the gear and doing a video and yeah we just made a small camp there in uh, Polish Lavu or Lavu or how you call it and ate some hot dogs and chorizo and with breads we have the dogs inside the Lavu uh, just sleeping I think not right now so I just wanted to show you where the rest of the family is <laughs> hope you enjoy and stay tuned to the next time see you later bye